Uh, Paranoid Android regular says the CBP issued a notice on March 5th, 2021 regarding guidance for permanent residents stuck overseas. It states that green card holders only need to show their unexpired green card to board even if out of the United States for 12 months. Is this still effective? So CBP has a policy and it's been the policy for a long time. That uh, as long as you have a green card, even if it's an expired green card, um, the airline should allow you board. And then once you enter the United States and go to the airport there, they'll sort it out and figure it out. So uh, that generally is the policy. But the problem is uh, at the airlines, if you're going to fly into the United States, uh, they're afraid of just letting anybody into the plane because if they incorrectly board somebody, there's a really heavy fine that the Customs Border Protection will put on them. They're also supposed to like put the person on a plane, have a person that watches them. It takes away two extra seats off their plane going back. It could potentially cost them five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars for uh, easily um, for them to board somebody that they're not supposed to board. So they go overboard and prevent people from coming on board when uh, they have the authority to at least let them board and let CBP decide what the situation is. So uh, although there is a policy of CBP to just let them come and figure it out, um, it doesn't always work out in practice. Most airlines. Um, say uh, don't even look uh, most of the time if you've been out one year two years I've had people be out for nine years and they come back but some airlines will go and look into it for some reason I had a, a, a colleague who had a client from China uh, and the person said oh you've been out for 13 months at the airline in China they wouldn't let him board the airplane uh, even though CBP would have let him in and probably not had an issue with it once they entered you know I'll, I have to say uh, under the rules if you're outside for more 12 months that could be considered abandonment in practice most of the time I haven't seen them be that strict about it the airlines are so um, you know it is what it is if you want to come back try to get back if it's appropriate for your case it's different for everybody other case it this is so fact specific and, and luck specific that it's hard to give individual guidance even but especially not general guidance here so uh, don't don't take this as what you need to do you really need to talk to the lawyer thank you for watching this educational program to get the latest videos click the subscribe button and the notification bell icon also help us help the immigrant community by liking this video and sharing it with your family and friends you can also find us on other social media sites like instagram Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Twitter, where you find the latest updates on immigration news, policy changes, and tips. Be safe and God bless. See you soon.